Dean, overall, what do you take away from a start like this? Uh, I think it's pretty good tonight. Um, made a couple of mistakes to the wrong guy, and he's got enough power to do some damage. So overall, I, I think uh, think it went pretty well. Uh, stuck to our approach and try to execute it as best I could. Sebi called a good game. Rich Dubroff, go ahead. Hey, Dean, you've pitched against these guys a lot, a lot now. Does it make it more difficult or, or is it or is it easier? Do you, do you get to know them better this way? Uh, I mean, it's it's not a lineup where you can really take for granted. So you've got to be at your best pretty much every time you face them. So um, if you're not, they do a lot of damage, obviously. Uh, going back to my last start. Um, but, yeah, I guess the more you see somebody on, on both ends, uh, the more like the, the easier it gets, I guess, but it's it, both on the hitting side and the pitching side, like DJ has seen, I, he's probably got like what 15 or so at bats and keeps beating me. So I've got to make the adjustment. Whoever's losing pretty much makes the adjustment. John Mioli, go ahead. Dean, both you and Brandon have been pretty consistent in wanting you to be aggressive with your fastball and kind of keep that mentality how much is seeing kind of having success with that help as you kind of build on that to go forward with it? Uh, definitely helps. Um, when I, f I feel like I'm at my best when I throw my best heater through, through the middle or through the top of the zone and, and I don't get damaged and it get, gives me confidence that I can beat anybody in zone rather than have to nitpick around the, around the edges and kind of try to pitch my way around people instead of just going through people.